Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to GoodWorks Tractors. We are gonna be doing some springtime fertilizing right now. Soil amendments as well, a little bit of overseeding. I'm just excited that it's springtime. We've got the Ag Spray electric spreader hooked up again. This is season two for it. Variable speed control. There's no PTO connection. Quick hitch compatible. You don't need a quick hitch if you don't want it. It'll go right on your uh, category one three point hitch as well. Includes the harnessing, the cabling. You just have gator clips to tie onto your battery terminals up front. A little speed control, on off switch, away you go. You also have this gate control to be able to open and close the gate from the seat, along with a setting control right down below. I do wanna mention this video is brought to you by Bora Wheel Spacers. If you're looking to add stability, that side to side stability to your tractor, these are all long and narrow. Get yourself some wheel spacers. They make them from one inch wide all the way out to six inches wide. You can really add on a lot of width there. You know I'm big on safety, so check them out. Link down below in the description, Bora Wheel Spacers. All right, well, we gotta get to it. We have a lot of bags and material to put down today. So if you like this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you're looking for cool stuff for your tractor, read that description right down below or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Here we go. Really quick what we have going on here, I have decided I am going to return this whole stack of amendment right here. This is the Carbon Pro G. A lot of you guys like this, it's highly thought of online as well, but I had major problems spreading this in my spreader last year. It was just a nightmare. And you know, supposedly that formulation or whatever has been improved so that it's a lot easier to spread now, but it still comes with the suggestion when I bought it that if it's a little clumpy, just spread it all out on your driveway or somewhere else and let it dry out and then scoop it all up and put it in the hopper. That just seems like a heck of a lot of work to me. So this is gonna be my third time now adding this soil amendment right here, Humachar. You can get this stuff right on Amazon, probably other places as well. It's a product by Anderson's. Um, it's a combination of humic acid and biochar. It spreads super easy. As soon as it rains, it's going to dissolve the little pellets, just microscopic pellets, and put all sorts of granules and let them feed down into the soil. So this is really gonna help condition the soil and help with nutrient uptake, help those roots go down deeper as well so they're healthier, stronger, and more drought tolerant too. I did a heavy overseed in the fall, about 150 pounds, but I am gonna do some light overseeding this spring, primarily in the areas where uh, Rosie has been relieving herself and there's dead spots all over the place. So I'm gonna do a lot of touch up. That means I wanna have some something with uh, pre-emergent control that's safe for seeding, okay? And this is one of the few products out there that can do that, this ProScape by Lebanon. This product here is a two for one. It's gonna be a fertilizer plus weed control with pre-emergent as well, safe for overseeding. There's just not many of those products out there, but this time of year with crabgrass, that's gonna be coming up pretty soon. You wanna get something like this down. If you're gonna overseed, make sure you know that. Don't put pre-emergence down unless it's safe for overseeding.
You know, so I kind of just always play it by ear with these settings on here. I know how much I want to put down total for my entire lawn. And you're going to do a couple passes, going crisscross and the edges and everything else. It started out going pretty quick in the beginning, and I wasn't trusting my setting that I had. So I dialed it down a lot. Ended up having to make about three and a half passes almost. I should have left it at the original setting. It was about a number five on here. Uh, three bags of fertilizer, about... 0.6 or so maybe 0.5 acres that I'm actually um, applying it on but I'll say it's always better to go a little bit lighter and then make extra passes versus going too heavy and running out of material before you get through the whole lawn. One thing I want to make sure I point out is that you want to be in motion so moving on your tractor when you turn that switch on when the auger starts spinning you don't want to be at a standstill because there's going to be a little bit of the extra material that's right in the auger and so it's going to put down a heavy dose right in that one spot if you're not moving and that's going to potentially, if it's fertilizer, kill the lawn. It's just going to kind of scorch it right there. And I did that last year a few times. So you see me today moving as I turn it on. That way it's kind of a, a more dispersed pattern and there's no heavy concentration. What I love about the variable speed control is the fact that it really came into play on the skinny portion of my lawn, just on the south side of the house. It's very easy and quick just to dial down that that spray pattern and so it's just a narrow strip about eight feet wide and so you can just dial it right down so you're not spraying it into the house and the neighbor's yard and everywhere else and you can dial right back to the wider setting when you get beyond that point. And just again, this Humachar is just a really cool product. All these little pellets here, they dissolve as soon as the water hits them just into all sorts of microscopic little particles that go down into your soil. A lot of the other products that are similar are not going to absorb into the soil very quickly. They're gonna take a very long time, just kind of ride on the surface. That's the difference. And plus, it spreads so easy. You can see how dry and just granular it is, just like a fertilizer or an herbicide, any kind of your weed control pellets as well. Very easy to work with. So again, this is if you wanna take your lawn to the next level. This is something you can add on a few bags every year, just periodically, or you can go really heavy in one year if you really wanna improve it quickly. But it's not something that's going to damage your soil if you put too much of it on. It is pricey though, so it's not, if you're just mowing your lawn and you wanna keep it short, don't get this product. If you wanna take it to the next level, this is a product you wanna consider.
Well, so the worst job of the spring is what I'm doing right now, which is trying to fix all of the pea spots from the course of winter. You know, everything that where Rosie peed, you can see all over the front yard, the backyard's even worse. This is very time consuming to kind of prep each one of the areas. You got to break up the soil on the surface there. That way you can overseed in those spots. Um, sometimes I cover, cover them up with um, either a dirt or topsoil or um, other compost pellets almost that kind of expand and hold water. I might even try to take some of that carbon G and just sprinkle it on top as well just to kind of help hold the seed in place and then just, you know, add some extra nutrients to it as well. But so big project. However, now is the time to do it. As soon as I get it done, I can stay on top of it every week or two, you know, as there's a few random spots here or there that come up. This is just, you know, four or five months worth of damage that's right here. And it's very, very time consuming. I really got a trainer to go in one spot, you know? So clearly I've got a lot of work in front of me here. So I appreciate you stopping by. Again, if you like what you see, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. And as always, check out the description underneath the video or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. All sorts of helpful information there. So until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.